Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Fields in Hazen Union High School. Beautiful downtown Hardy, Vermont. Lady Cats. Action today. Soccer action. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats against the Rivendell Raptors. Making the trip up here from Orford, New Hampshire. We'll drive up I-91. Raptors come in with a record of 1-0. They beat Sharon Academy this past Friday by a score of 5-zip. Had a nice chat with their coach, Tim Goodwin, before the game. Got all the proper pronunciations, I think, Griff. I'm going to do this. And, uh, of course, your Lady Cats come in with a record of 0-1. They lost 5-1 against Lake Region in their home opener, season opener, this past Saturday. Sponsor today is Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. You are tuned, of course, to Hazen Wildcats soccer action. Lance Hall with the call. Griff on camera. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Games are all archived at that site as well. Of course, soccer, we have to bring you on tape delay. We cannot broadcast it live, but we have a good time doing it. Right, Griff? It's beautiful up here. It is. It's awesome. There is no better place than right up here on the roof of the Industrial Arts Building here at Hazen Union High School. There's the opening tick, controlled by Aiden Carr, moving it up. Blocked out. We're going to try and match up some names and numbers as I can get them. Perfect day for soccer today. Throw in right there by Sienna Carter. Gets it back. Raptors looking to clear it out. Hazen looking to put some pressure on. They did not have a whole lot of offensive pressure against the Rangers. Let's see how they do against the Raptors. Ball played up by Ali Gabary looking for Macy Muller. Plays it back. There's Aiden Carr. Over, and that is Iris Fukushima, number 15 for the Raptors. Ball up. Sky high. Alexis Christensen looking to make a play. The freshman who had the one lone goal against the Rangers on Saturday. It was Kylie Taylor playing that up ahead. Controlled by Adele Tilden. Moved over on the side. The long side of that's a six. That's Elizabeth Noyes over there working against Joey Hall. And I want to start out by apologizing for whatever schedule I gave during the Lake Region game. I was so far off on that griff, it wasn't even funny. With the schedule for the upcoming game. Yeah, a shot on goal, and there is a goal for the Raptors as that is up over the head of our freshman goalie, Emily Kimball. Couldn't quite get this reach on that. Nice shot up high. Did you see who scored that, Griff? I didn't. I did not see. It was one of a few different ones that all were in the area. Okay, see, there's a high five given to number 23. Will we give the goal to Kylie Taylor, maybe? I saw a girl come up and give her a high five. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. we got to try and remember that Kylie scored their first goal. I forgot to bring a pen up again. Christensen plays it up ahead. There's Moeller. She's got to step on her defender. Going to look to turn the corner, maybe. Cross, cross back over to Christensen. Back to Carr. Lady Cats dug themselves a hole again today. Going down one zip with just 37. Uh, about Two minutes gone in the game. Lily Castle plays it up. Stays in. Christensen trying to make a move. Ball played back out by Rachel O'Hearn. Got a whistle. Going to have a free kick. Ali Gabary, the foot. This girl's got a foot and a leg on her. Saw some of the scrimmages this summer. It was amazing. Moeller goes over across. Look for Madison Bartlett. Taken down. I think that is uh, Cassidy Cochran over in the vicinity as well. They're going to bring her back this side. Christensen trading a little paint out there. Robbins racing. Working against... Uh, Alex McFate, 
number five for the Raptors. Here's Macy up ahead. Alexis over in the middle. Got Aiden Carr. Joey chips it up in. Middle of the field, Christensen tried to get to it. She got beat on that one. Here's the ball up ahead. We've got, I thought she was going to get by the defense. We saw that happen a few times on Saturday as well. These teams would sort of draw our defense up and then lob the ball over and they could get somebody past to get the shots. See if there's any adjustments made. Aiden Carr over on the far side. Well, they've got a head on it. Here's Gabri Christensen inside. Rachel O'Hearn clears it out here to the near side. Ball's going to stay inbounds. Christensen moving up, looking for Macy in the middle. Taken out by the Raptors defense. That ball Russ rolled out of bounds right in front of Sienna Carter. Gabri with the throw in. Moeller was looking to get it over to Christensen. She had a step. Throw in Carter. Gabri chips that one out of bounds. Throw in Alex McFate. Carter brings the ball up. Lily Castle comes out. Zoe traps that one down. Joey and Zoe, the Oe, back on defense. The Oes. Friends since kindergarten, those two. Natalie Jeffrey and uh, Lily Castle back there as well. Save Kimball. So the four girls back on defense right now. We've got three former Lakeview Lakers with Lily, Joey, and Zoe. Natalie Jeffrey, of course, coming up from Hardwick Elementary. Jeffrey, the junior. And uh, Lily's a freshman, Joey and Zoe's seniors. Off of Adele Tilden, Gabri, throw in, looking in the middle, long throw, Macy. The header up over. Carr chips it up ahead. Moeller looking to get the turn. Puts a shot on goal. It's wide. I unfortunately do not have position, so I do not know who is in goal for Rivendell. We can try and look at the number and see if it matches up. Looks like a nine Looks from like up Looks like number here. nine, yeah. We'll give it to Cora Day then. We guess. Like I say, I don't have positions to go along with names and numbers. But I'd like to give credit where credit is due. Zoe, way up ahead. Cochran tried to come down with that one. Here's Madison Bartlett. Up to Cassidy Cochran. Looking to make a move back to Bartlett. Bartlett, chip up ahead, knock back out. Defend, uh, offensive play gets by jo uh, Joey. Looking to turn, get a shot on. That'll be wide. We'll have a 
goal kick Hazen. Gabri way up ahead. Macy can get a step. She might have a shot at this one. Three defenders with her. Kind of spread back out now. She's going to pitch it back. Lauren Thomas playing. Or no, number 15, that's Bethany Conway. I was looking at the ponytail. Number 15 for Hazen is Bethany Conway, a freshman. Gabri up ahead again. Moeller trying to create something here for the Hazen offense as they are down 1 0. We got 30 minutes left to go in the first half. Rivendell came out strong two minutes in. Nice goal by Kylie Taylor. Lifted it up over the head of Emily Kimball. Throw in Rivendell. Ball over in the corner. And Zoe clearing it upfield. Cochran trying to get a foot on it. Bartlett can't come down with that one. Playing against Tilden. Gabri clears it up to midfield. Nice chip up by Bartlett right there. Cochran looking to make a play back to Bartlett. The Spitfire. Zoe. High, is it going to stay in? Are they going to chase it down? Yes, it is. Got pronunciations for all the Raptors players. I got to go over and get a few for ours. There's a couple on here that are kind of not so sure about. <laughs> Lily Castle moving over here in the near corner. Chased down by Conway. Moved out by Carter. Middle of the field, there's Gabri. Can't quite get it to Bartlett. Gabri again goes down. We've got players down. Referees play on. Jeffrey, lefty Jeffrey. Castle plays that one. Jimi Hendrix does a song about cow. Is it Castles in the Sand, right? <laughs> Uh, I think that's what it yeah. is. Uh-oh, we're getting a wide open shot right here. Oh, man. Wide open as the ball came back out. Sienna Carter jumped right on it, had a clear path to the goal. Kimball tried to make the uh, effort to get it. Nothing there as Rivendell comes up 2-0, leading 28-15. Now we really need a pen. Sienna Carter with that <laughs> goal. <laughs> Hey, you know what? They're 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 together on the playlist because Carter's 21 and Taylor's 23. So hopefully I'll remember that. Bartlett plays it up. Hazen in a hole, definitely in a hole now. I remember going to a playoff game down in Rivendell a couple years ago. They ended up beating us one nothing on a on a windy. Threatening day. It was threatening rain. It never rained, but I remember it was really windy that day. I'm trying to think. It may have even gone overtime. I can't remember. But I know it was. I know it was a score of one zip. Alley, so strong. Riley Butler moves that one up for Rivendell.
throw in Butler. Looks middle of the field, a quadrant of Lady Cats there. And is that Kai? Kai Gilbert out on the field. Kai's been struggling with a myriad of health issues the last couple weeks. So good to see Kai back out on the field. Coach Harry Bissett, first year coach, looking to put a little spark out there. Kai knows how to put the ball in the net. And Kai plays with reckless abandon. Absolute reckless abandon. Griff, you're probably too young to remember Larry Zonka, who played fullback for the <laughs> Dolphins. <laughs> no. The way he ran is kind of the way Kai plays soccer. Nice. Good. <laughs> In fact, they nicknamed him Zonk. Maybe I'll nickname Kai that. Zonk. Kai Zonk Gilbert. I like it. I do too. <laughs> Showing my age when I talk Larry Zonk. <laughs> <laughs> Hayes and looking to get on the board now, cut into this 2-0 deficit. Midfield. Ball been mostly in the middle of the field, hasn't it, Griff, thus far this half, other than the, the two scoring plays that, uh, you know, I think Macy got off, what, one shot wide? Yep. And uh, the two scoring plays for Rivendell. But other than that, the action pretty much confined to the mid part of the field. It's been pretty back and forth. It might not yeah. seem it because it's 2 nothing with, you know, not even halfway done the first half. But uh, they do kind of seem pretty evenly matched. Kylie Taylor shakes and bakes. Gets the ball back up in there. Christensen over on the far side. Out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Raptors. Christensen gets to that one first. Back out. Another throw in. Don't give up now. It's coming right back to you. Well, let's just say the Raptors have taken advantage of any shots they've had as well, though. Playing out of the corner over there. Aiden Carr trying to clear this one out. Gets it up. That'll go off, I believe, a Raptor players. I think that's going to be a uh, Lady Cat throw in. Looking ahead for Bartlett. Joey, long up ahead. Let's see if Macy can split through the defense here and get to this ball. Here on the near side, circling around, cross. Bartlett tried to get a foot on it. Defender was there. It's a lift up ahead by Gabri, looking for something. Let's at least get a shot on goal here, girls. Aiden Carr working against Adele Tilden. Gabri down, can pull a hammy pretty fast that way, working against Alex McFate. There's a boot up by Carter. Oh, 
Lefty Jeffrey with the long shot up. Bartlett can't come down with it. Rivendell, shot on, save, Emily Kimball. Once again, Emily Kimball, the freshman goalie who uh, showed spark in that defeat at the Rangers. She, uh, you know, a couple of fluky goals, but a couple of good shots, but she also made a couple of good saves, and uh, I think as the season goes on, Griff and I both agreed that a little more seasoning, a little more experience, she's going to be pretty decent. Yep, definitely. A little more of a test today, trying to stop everything now that we're down to zip. In fact, through the first half of that Lake Region game, at the end of the first half, we were only down 2-1. That's right, yep. So floodgates sort of opened in the second half, but through the first half, she was solid. Muller, midfield. Chips it over. Carr trying to make something happen. Over on the far side, that's Alexis Christensen. Can't quite get the turn. Rivendell brings the ball up. Over here on the near side, here's Carter. Almost identical play to her last goal. Trying to make the turn. Gets that one wide, though. The halfway mark of the first half, your score is 2-0. Rivendell Raptors in the lead off of uh, Sienna Carter and Kylie Taylor. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor today, Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure anything and everything that you need insurance on at a reasonable rate to boot. Griff on camera. Beautiful day, late summer, early fall, whatever you want to call it. Hudson Field, Hazen Union High School in Harvard, Vermont. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats taking on the Rivendell Raptors. Raptors scored about two minutes in. To go up one zip, scored a little bit later on in the first. Two zip is your score right now. Lady Cats looking to mount some kind of an attack. Haven't really, I think we've only got, what, one shot? Um, yeah, but a couple of opportunities that never really turned out to get anything on target. Yeah. <laughs> Lefty Jeffrey. Trading paint. Robbins racing. Throw in, Lady Cats. Throw in, Raptors. Let's have another throw in for the Raptors. Christensen beats that one. I'm assuming that was Alexis. I'm trying to go by the hair and the way she runs. Throw in here on the near side. This is Riley Butler. Throws it across. Adele Tilden. Aiden Carr up ahead. Moeller. Defender's going to get there to beat her. That was Kendall Bovier getting back to thwart that scoring opportunity. How's that for a word, Griff? Thwarting. Thwart. Like she it. thwarted her. Thwarted that scoring opportunity. Bamboozled. Mm. Ouch. 
Elizabeth Noyes took a shot right to the solar plexus. Or was that Alex McFade, I guess? It's got to hurt. Have you ever taken a soccer ball to the solar plexus? Um, not really an anatomy guy. I don't know what that is. Well, your stomach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably. I don't know if I ever have. I don't think I'd want to. Noise looking here on the near side. Fukushima. Shima, sorry. Fukushima gives chase. Aiden Carr. Let's see if we can get something going. We've got a plethora of Hazen players up here. Cochran looks to get inside there, puts kind of a little bit of a chip in, but an easy pickup who, for who we think is Cora Day, if we're going off the numbers. Here's Macy, backs up, shot on wide. Goal kick, Raptors. Played over on the far side. Joey and Zoe double team the player whose number I can't see. Chip in, that'll go out of bounds for a Hazen goal kick. Here's Tilden, trying to chip that one ahead. She was looking for, uh, can't quite see their numbers. But it was, a, it was the right play. Girl had a step on her, couldn't quite get it. Kimball there for the save. Turns the corner, shot on, Kimball down. Makes a nice save. The Little Red Machine in yeah, goal. That's right. We'll do that in tribute to her older brother, Elliot, who was the Big Red Machine in basketball. Last number of seasons here. Going to college now. Trying to remember where he told me, too. I, I, I can't remember. Out of state, let's say that. I want to say Pennsylvania, but I'm not sure. Have you ever been to Orford, New Hampshire? Orford, New Hampshire. This is where Rivendell is from. Oh, I'm probably. It's a nice <laughs> little town. Yeah? I've heard, and I want to go down to it sometime, they have a heck of a... Uh, Flea market every August for an entire weekend down there on the town green, and I want to go to I've always wanted to go to it. I've never been able to. I've heard it's really spectacular. Conway. Castle. Jeffrey boots that one out. Christensen up ahead. Moeller gets by the defender. Got one more to beat. 
Still going. And we've got a call as uh, Macy will have the kick here. She's going to look to quick kick it. Shot on goal, save. I believe it was Kendall Bovair, number three, who got called for the extracurricular on the block out there. A little too much body, I guess. Tilden up ahead, Joey. Playing over there. Trying to, I believe that if that's number three, that's Kendall Bovier, I think. No, she was back on defense. I can't see a number. McFate, maybe there's a shot on save, Kimball. I can't quite see the numbers from way across the field. Ball skips under Conway here on the near side. Fukushima trying to put a shot on right there. Comes back out. Corral down. That is Alex McFate who just booted that ball up through. Out of bounds. We're going to have a throw in. Kara looking to clear out. Fukushima. Looks ahead, looking for McFate. She's got the clear line in now. We gotta get some defense over there. That one goes wide. I don't know if she was looking to shoot for the far corner or looking at somebody across the field. Nonetheless, with 9.45 and counting left to go in the first half and Rivendell with a 2-0 lead over your Hazen Union Lady Cats. Once again, Rivendell come in with a record of 1-0. and zero. Beat Sharon Academy last Friday, 5-0. Lady Cats at 0-1. They lost 5-1 to Lake Region on Saturday. Now, the schedule for this week that I know, because once again, shot high and over and into the trees and mercifully gets held up right at the edge. <laughs> Um, the schedule for this week, Griff, which I do know, and again, I apologize for anybody who watched the tape of the Lake Region game because I, I don't know where. I think I took like three different weeks and put them together. Um, tomorrow, the Hazen Union Wildcat boys host Fairfax. Thursday, your Lady Cats go down to Morrisville to play the arch rival People's Academy Wolves. That is the schedule for this week. I triple checked it. Ball over there in the corner. And once again, it's, you know, I talked about this on Saturday. You can't really see it from up here. When you get over to this corner, it dips down in pretty good fashion. Yep. I mean, if you stand over where the benches are and look across, when the players get over in this corner, you can only see the upper half of them. The field is almost kind of like crowned and then dips over there. Gabri with the big foot up the middle, controlled by Rivendell, back out by Jeffrey. Over there on the far side, Gabby. I gotta get her last name because I have no idea how to pronounce that. Unless Joey. But it is a girl named Gabby. Number three for your Lady Cats. It was making some plays on the ball over there. Car gives shape up the middle. Tilden back to Gabri. Gabri here on the near side. Back down to Fukushima. Carter trying to play that one in. Gabri, way up, and there's a shot right in the side. Fukushima, that's got to be tough. You're up there, you're stretched out, and the ball hits you right there. You, you can't, it's not like you can clench muscles or anything. The position she was in, that's got to hurt. Mm, Cut her yep. right in the side, right in the stomach, solar plexus, whatever you want to call it, and that's just the way her body was stretched out like that. 
That had to, had to hurt. Rivendell once again, coached by Tim Goodwin. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats have Harry Bissett at the helm. Rookie season. Harry, of course, well known to all our viewers. He came up last year on a lot of the boys' games, provided expert commentary. Coach Corey Maskell stepped down this past offseason. Harry stepped up. And your Hazen Union Wildcat boys have a new coach as well. Coach Talent Bryant stepped down last year, after last year, and uh, Kyle Bursing, another Hazen alumnus. Is coaching your Wildcat boys, who will be in action right here tomorrow at Hudson Fields against Fairfax. The Fairfax Bullets, if I remember right. Ball back in play. There's the Spitfire, Madison Bartlett. Gabri working against Mariah Hainel. Here's Christensen trying to get something going against Bovier. Gabri with the throw in. Long throw. Macy. There's a shot on goal by Christensen, but that one's going to sail high. It'll be a Rivendell goal kick. Cleared out with authority. There's Tilden. Can't get, get the turn on Jeffrey. Nice left foot kick right there. There's Joey back up to the middle of the field. Christensen over here, trying to make something happen on the near side. Riley Butler up ahead. Number nine is Michaela Gilblair for the Lady Cats, seeing some action. A lot of freshmen on this Lady Cats team. Stever. This is where the Raptors have been dangerous once they get it up close here. Shot in on goal by Stever. Routine save for Kimball on that one. 440 left to go in the first half. It's getting Rivendell up by a score of two to nothing. Be nice to see our Lady Cats get a goal. Get a couple goals. But let's start with one. Lefty Jeffrey up ahead. Mariah Hanel working against Macy the male girl looking to deliver a goal. Gets it back to Bovier. Kept in by Christensen. Butler looking to make a play back here on the near side to Hanel. Hanel, middle of the field. Played up by McFate. Stever turns around against Bartlett. Christensen working on Butler. Back to Povier. Yeah, 
This Raptors defense has been tough so far in this first half. Lady Cats not able really to penetrate and get a decent shot off. We've seen a couple of kind of half shots or shots from way outside, but they have not allowed anything inside. Cochran gives chase on that one. That's probably the closest we've come to getting any kind of point blank shot as Dave corrals the ball. To give the Raptors the corner kick. That is, that is not true. Which will be taken by uh, Kendall Bover. Cross, middle, shot, save. Is we seem to be getting invaded by some kind of bugs up here. <laughs> Did you, you notice these guys too? Yeah, I said it looked like a ladybug just landed on my program here. But there's some kind of other stuff out here as well. Won't be long. We won't have to worry about this anymore. <laughs> That's right. We're about a month away. You, you watch a game in about four weeks from now, and you will see some of the most spectacular foliage ever. Gilbear clears that one up, goes out of bounds. Riley Butler on the throw in for the Raptors. Under one minute to play, 55 seconds and counting. Subs coming in and off. I don't know, Hazen's going to have to put on a bit of a press if they're going to score in this first half. There's Kirstensen out of bounds. So back to the Raptors, 35 seconds. Rowan Butler. Aiden Carr chips that one out. Throw in Bovair. Lefty Jeffrey knocks that one out. Bovair on another throw. We got 16 seconds. Let's hold it off here now. Maybe instead of trying to score, we should try and thwart a scoring opportunity here. <laughs> Here we go, five seconds. Can we get a shot for even from midfield? Christensen, and that will end the first half with your Hazen Union Lady Cats trailing by a score of 2 0 against the Rivendell Raptors. Goal scored by Sienna Carter and Kylie Taylor. Taylor scored just about two minutes in, and uh, Carter added hers a little bit later on in the first half to make the score 2 zip. A lot of the action contained in the middle of the field. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable now, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, our sponsor today, Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. We'll be back at the start of the second half. Second half action. We're about a minute away here at Hudson Fields in Hazen Union High School, Hard Vermont. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 16, on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Hazen Union Lady Cats, game two of the season, down 2 nothing to the Rivendell Raptors, who come in with a record of 1-0, and zero, having beat Sharon Academy this past Friday. Lady Cats still looking for their first victory of the season. They opened here this past Saturday with a 5-1 defeat at the hands of the Lake Region Rangers. Um, first half goals scored by Sienna Carter and Kylie Taylor for the Raptors. Uh, two of maybe about, what, four or five shots that they got total? And uh, Hazen, you know, got off, uh, I don't know if you could even call them shots on goal. Um, you know, shots towards the goal. Raptors defense has been stout back there, I would say. Is that a good word, Griff? Stout? Yeah, it's been uh, really good. They have uh, been able to, how about this, how about stymie? They've been able to stymie. They've been able to stymie any attack that, that Hazen has had, yes. 
as Griff and I are looking to expand our vocabulary. First goal scored by Taylor about two minutes in. A nice shot she lifted up over the head of our freshman goalie, Emily Kimball. And then uh, Carter had a wide open look from the uh, right side of the net. And uh, again, just sort of put it up high and, and over the head and in the corner. It was a beautiful shot. And uh, she had it wide open. So Raptors with the opening tip for the second half. See if our Lady Cats can dig out of this two zip hole. As their offense, yes, has been stymied. It's a great word, Griff. <laughs> We're just a couple of walking thesauruses That's up right. here. That's right. That's exactly what I was. <laughs> That's what I do but in, during halftime is I just pull up the thesaurus and look through, you know? Yep. And we did look it up. It's Lily Castles Made of Sand, the Jimi <laughs> Hendrix yeah. song. Uh-oh, here's Rivendell in there moving against Joey, trying to clear this one out, and the shot goes in. you got to get me a number, Griff. I can't see it from here, All but right, see if I can zoom in. sort of a breakaway. Joey tried to stymie that attack and got stung. I believe that's number two. Is there a number two? I have a number two, which is Michaela Stever, if that is the number. She's still kind of running parallel to us. Yeah. we got to get it to turn one way or the other. There we go. Now we got a clear shot. Number right. two. That looks good. I didn't quite see it. Yes, yes, number two. two. All right, so we'll give that to Michaela Stever to put the uh, Raptors up three zip. And just as they sort of open the game here early in the second half with a score, about a minute in, less than a minute really when that goal went in. Joey back there going shoulder to shoulder with her. Of course, got to be careful in the box or else you're going to get called for something and end up with a penalty shot. So kind of did the best she could. Stubber got the shot off. Kimball was out. Ball in. Gabri has that one go off the side of her foot. Joey Hall working against Elizabeth Noyce. Out of bounds. Joey with the throw. Got a sub. And it's Lily Castles made of sand going off. Aiden Carr coming in. Could really channel my inner Chris Berman and call her Aiden. Baby, you can drive my car. <laughs> Don't ask me where I come up with this stuff. <laughs> hey, you know, same place. Like I say, it just sort of comes out of the cosmos. Yeah, same place Paul McCartney came out. Exactly. It, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Throw in far side. Oh, whipped in. I think that was Ali Gabri on that throw. -in. There's a long shot. And it looks like, do we have a new goalie for the Raptors? I think we do. Last one was number nine. What is that number there? 19? 19. 19. I do not have, oh, Riley Butler. She's either 10 slash 19. So we'll give it to Riley Butler in goal. Makes a couple of quick saves here. Again, I don't have positions for the Raptors players, so we're hoping we've got that right. But uh, number 10 when she's on the field, I'm assuming 19 when she's in goal. Gabri tries to get that one out. Ball rolls center. Joey with the boot up. Cochran there, here's Moeller. Back to Bartlett. Kind of encouraging to at least get us some shots on their goal. Moeller trading paint with Kendall Bovair. As number three is Gabby. 
whose net last name I do not dare to try to pronounce. We're gonna have a white throw. Taken down, Bartlett trying to move it into center field, ball out. Joey with the throw, going to pitch it in to Moeller. She comes across, trying to trap that one down. Once again, you get on this side, you're playing downhill. We're going to have a corner kick. Or no, a goal kick, excuse me. A goal kick for the Rivendell Raptors. Ball back, Joey trying to clear it out. Rivendell player on her. Adele. And Gabby going at it, here's Cochran moving up. Bartlett, nobody there for it. Here's a turn by Noyes, working against Joey. Cora Day, number nine for the Raptors. Turn around, McFate taken out. Ball rolls out of bounds. Gabbery over for the throw in. 33 20 left to go in your ball game. Cats down three zip. Looking to climb back in here. Gets by Zoe. Nice pass ahead today. Gets a shot off. Save Kimball. The little red machine. Very nice save. Calm, cool, Hello. collected. You know, I'm looking out here. I don't have any grades or anything for the uh, Rivendell players. I don't know, you know, if they're juniors, seniors, freshmen, sophomore, whatever. But if you just look at them, and I was noticing I was down on the field earlier, they're, they're very, you know, tall, athletic girls and, and the way they play and the way they carry themselves out here. I, I gotta wonder if it, this is sort of a lot of juniors and seniors. Moeller looking to get something here. Crow. Had Cochran in the middle, but a Raptors player on here, on her. Aiden Carr. Joey Hall back out, lifts one up high, drops in. Easy save for Butler. In fact, basically, she saved it from going out of bounds. It was wide. Day moves that one up. Here's Zoe. Goes over to Gabbery. Far side. 
Looking to go in the middle, doesn't get there. I believe we're going to have a corner kick. Is this our second, just the second corner kick of the game, Griff, that I can remember? Mm. If you you must be remembering one more than me. I thought this was the first, but maybe uh, I thought maybe. we had one down here in this near corner. Oh, okay. Middle right. shot. Kimball comes up with a save. That ball was kind of hanging, spinning, twisting, turning everything. The ball drops. It can go anywhere. You're right. Nice. I, re I remember the one you're talking about. Now. Yeah. yeah. Nice save by Kimball. On a high corner kick that had bounced up and sort of hung there forever. Here's Christensen over on the far side looking to get in. Defense right there. Save. Moeller collides with Butler. No call. She kind of pulled up right at the last second. Jeffrey. side boot in Zoe trying to get it out drop pass oh, oh yeah D Griff we actually had an illegal throw-in called. Right. I mean, I'm still just amazed yeah. at, at what, you know, is now given for a throw-in. And we actually had an illegal throw-in called. Foul called. Raptors with the quick kick. He's in defense. They've got a they've got a girl wide open. I think that's Cora Day wide open over here on the far side, and you've got another one there. Trying to see her number. Ooh, off the post. Back out. Dodged a bullet. Uh, our, we had a couple of, of Raptor players that were wide open over here on the near side. Instead, uh, the Rivendell player opted to play it right on the goal. Went off the crossbar post. Goalie's best friend. Or else we'd have been looking at 4 nothing. Which I think with the way this game is playing, being played right now, Griff, would be insurmountable. It would be tough. Yes. But we've still got a lot of time. A lot of time. 27 minutes to be exact. Left here in your ball game. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats trailing by a score of three zip. Rivendell once again puts a shot on. Kimball comes down with it. Checking your memory, Griff, what number was the girl who scored the third goal for the Raptors? Uh, I think it was number two. Michaela Stever, that's yes. right. I remember saying that name. Fukushima back out on the field after taking that ball in the side. Turn around. We're going to have a shot. Nice save by Kimball. Wide open shot over there by Taylor, who already has one goal. Nice save by Emily Kimball. That was a rocket. 
That was not an easy save to make. No. Once again, Kimball, the freshman. We won't quite coin her the freshman sensation yet, but I think by the end of the season, she'll be there. Shot on goal, save. Joey moving that one up ahead, looking inside. Number two, this is Maverick Murphy. Now there's a name that just begs for a nickname. <laughs> it's kind of a, a nickname to start with. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't really need one. Let's tell her, never leave your wingman, right? <laughs> if you can guess the movie that's from, you get 10 bonus points. Do you know the movie, Griff? Yeah, you're going to say later that she's I'll she's got the need, the need for speed. speed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we're supposed to be remaking that movie or making a sequel or something to it, and Tom Cruise is going to be in it. Of course, we're talking about Top Gun. Tom Cruise played Pete Maverick Mitchell in that one. Iconic movie from 1986. Who was in that? Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, Kelly McGillis, Tom Skerritt. If you haven't watched it, you need to. Twenty-four minutes left to go in your ball game. Once again, Rivendell up three zip. Catch just looking to make something happen. There's Zonk. Kai Zonk Gilbert. Kai, don't throw your hands up. Just play. Macy the male girl looking to get that one in between the defenders. Nothing there. Murphy out. Oh, she could have got a foot on that. Chipped it back in. The Spitfire. Working against noise. They're going at it out here. A slow roller in. Shots blocked down. Zoe and Joey double team that one out. Christensen over on the far side. Throw in, Raptors. Looking for Taylor in the middle. Here's Kai. Going up the far side. Can't quite stick with it, though. Lily Castle throw in. Chip back out. We'll have another throw in. Kai Gilbert on the throw. Macy looking to get the head on it. Couldn't quite get up there. And do you see now why I call her Zonka? <laughs> yeah. Go watch, go watch Larry Zonka run and watch Kai Gilbert play soccer. They're one and the same. Because I guarantee you, Griff, the girl did not flop on that. <laughs> I don't think so. Either. <laughs> Kai plays with absolute reckless abandon. In the box, Bomir with the save. 
or but, uh, Butler, I'm sorry, with the save. Butler punts. Nice punt up to midfield. Joey looking to keep it back in. Maverick gives chase, but the pattern was full. I'm going to think up all these top guys now. <laughs> Throw in Fukushima. Moeller shot on. Ball bounces back out. Nobody there to collect in the rebound. Save Butler. Long throw up ahead. She one-handed that quite a ways. Nice throw. 20 minutes left to go in the game. We're halfway through the second half. This is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Rivendell Raptors here from beautiful Hudson Field. Hazen Union High School in Harding, Vermont. Our sponsor today, Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike, a call. He will insure anything and everything that needs insurance. Shot on. Butler collects that. Here's Taylor. Aiden Carr. Double clutches, gets it up, Moeller, looking to go inside, Cassidy, you're out, yeah, there you go, come back. She was momentarily offside, says Cochran. Here's Moeller, looking to get a clear shot at goal, taken down, defense right there. Rivendell defense, once again, stymies the Lady Cats offensive push. Cochran, back to Moeller, Moeller. Working against a trio of Raptors. Booted out by the defense. Taylor. Taylor kind of taking her time as nobody's going out to challenge her here. She's bringing the ball three quarters of the way up the field. There's a shot in. Chase down. Kimball goes out, makes the diving save. There we go. As the uh, Rivendell player was right there. I believe that was Kendall Bovere. Throw in. Lady Cats. Fortunately, the throw in went to the Raptors. Raptors cross. Kimball up. And that's going to go in. Emily tried to make the save. Looked like she might have caught a leg or a foot or something. And was that, can you zoom in on the player after it? I think it was, I want to say it was Stebrigan. Kimball's shaking up. On the play, as there were a bunch of uh, players, the ball was bouncing around. I think the girl was just playing the ball. You got a number on her? It's this girl right in the, right, the girl, right behind the girl with the headband. I think it's number. I can't quite see the number. She's parallel to us right now. There she goes. She's turning. Uh, I believe that is Stever again. Stever again on the goal? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the ball was bouncing around. She was trying to get in. I saw her lift a knee. I don't, you know, without the benefit of replay, I'm, I'm not even going to speculate, but Kimball's shaking up a little bit. Stever standing back, hands on hips. She's a little bit concerned. Yeah. I don't I don't think it was anything malicious or intentional. When the ball's bouncing around like that, you want to put the ball in the net. That's right. 
But she did not go out of her way to be vicious. Kimball going to come off. That's going to put Ali Gabbery in goal, who did play goal for your Lady Cats here uh, two seasons ago. So she has some experience back there. And when all is said and done, is uh, it is uh, Michaela Stever with her second goal of the game to put the Rivendell Raptors up for zip as the freshman goalie, Emily Kimball, gets shaken up on that play a little bit. Nice display of sportsmanship over there on the side. As the Rivendell player came out to check, which is always good to see. And that's one thing I'll say for these two games that we've seen. You know, you see a little, you know, paint being traded, a little bumping, a little shoving. But I would say of this game and the Lake Region game, there's nothing been heinous, malicious, you know, over the top yep. type thing. It's just, you know, good hard soccer. Things happen. 16:57 left to go in your ball game, and it's the Rivendell Raptors now in command by a score of four to nothing. We'll see if the Cats could just put something on the board, maybe avoid the shutout here. Play for pride right now. Zoe has that one go off the side of her foot. Noise. Joey clears out. Looks up ahead, Cochran. Gets it over to Bartlett. Moeller looking to chip it over to Cochran. Can't quite get it there. Back is Bovere. She's been tough on defense back here. Hasn't let a whole lot get by her. Over on the far side, that is Lauren Thomas right there, number 17. I've got it right this time. Out on the field now for the Lady Cats. Here's Adele. Tilden working against Joey, gets it by. Tilden turns the corner. Joey gets in front of her. Gabri with the save. Gabbery, big booming punt to center field. Ball gets by the defense on this one. Moeller might be able to get there. Defender gets the shoulder in, which we can. We can go shoulder to shoulder. Harry said that many times. Ball trickles through once again. There's Cochran looking over for Moeller. Not there. Can Thomas get something going here against this defense? Trying her best. Jeffrey working on the far side. <laughs> Throw in Rivendell. Aiden Carr. Back up center field. Nothing there. Tilden. Maverick Murphy tries to bring the ball up. Joey clears out up. Carr looking to get something going. Tilden over to Taylor, I believe that is. Shot lifted up and over. That'll be a Hazen goal kick. I think I'm going to go home after the game, Griffin, watch Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good choice. Shot 
wide. Gabri down. Some substitutions. 12.30 left to go in the ball game. Four zip. Rivendell in command. Really have been since the opening. Uh, they scored with like two minutes in. Scored with one minute into the second half. Haven't really looked back. Just played a good defensive game. And have uh, made full uses of any shots that they've had on goal. Lady Cats. Have been stymied by this Raptor defense. Moeller, shot on right there, defense. Corner kick for the Lady Cats. Aiden Carr. Looking to play this one in. Bounces in front. Butler trying to come up with it. Nobody there for the Lady Cats to be able to put a foot on that one. Taylor, turn. Kept back in. I think that's Conway. Bethany Conway trying to keep that one in, but now back up. <laughs> Lily, Castle's in the sand, made of sand. Castle, right? Lily, Castle, made of sand. Jimmy Hendrix tribute. Of course, everybody geared up a few weeks ago for the 50th anniversary of Woodstock. Jimmy Hendrix put on, you know, just a small performance that day. That morning, really, went on early in the morning. Joey Hall clears it up ahead. Here's a roller over here to the near corner. Cats still can't quite get a shot, get a real decent bona fide shot on goal. Tilden. Zoe, back up over. Bethany playing against, uh, who was up there? Samantha Bopri for the Raptors. Joey Hall with the throw in. Bopri gets the foot on it. Turn around, Aiden Carr up ahead. Give a chase by Bovair. Conway gets that one out of bounds. Throw in Cora Day. Conway trying to get the head, ball drops down. Can she get a decent sized foot on it back? Joey gonna bring that one up and over everybody. Moeller gives chase. Cleared out by Rachel O'Hearn on the far side. 8.25 left to go in your ball game. Once again, we want to thank our sponsor, Calderwood Insurance Agency. 
Service and protection since 1979. 472-5517. Number to call. Mike will insure everything and anything that you need insurance on at a great rate. And if you want to, here's Moeller looking to get the turn. She's going to get the shots. Mariah Hanel. And the Spitfire takes Hanel down. I'm going to give the ball to uh, the Raptors. Still a lot of season left for both uh, Lady Cat and uh, Hazen Boys Wildcat Soccer. So if you are looking to be a sponsor for any of the games, contact Hardwick Community Television at hctv.us. Become a sponsor. There's no better bang for your advertising buck than right here on Hardwick Community Television. Streaming worldwide. You can sell it in Singapore. Sell it from Swanton to Singapore on Hardwick Community Television via the web. Throw in day. Joey gives chase down in the corner working against Bopri. Conway looks to turn. Nice chip out by Carr. Here's Tilden in the middle, though. Gives it over to Taylor. She scored once in the game. Working against Lily Castle. Shot up. Gabbery comes down with it. Rocket of a punt to midfield. Off the end line. I believe that spells a Hazen goal kick. With six minutes left to go in the ball game. Once again, uh, Wildcat boys will be in action tomorrow here at Hudson Field against Fairfax. Thursday, your Lady Cat girls travel to Morrisville. Take on the arch rival People's Academy Wolves. And if any of you watched the broadcast that we did for the Lake Region, I apologize for the complete mess of scheduling that I gave you. I took like three different weeks and just sort of put it all together. And uh, Wrong games, wrong nights, wrong everything. Well, Griff, what do we take away from this game? Well, um, let's see. First, Raptors are really, really good. The Raptors played defense the way that we need to, mm. which is to say they're in really good position all the time. Um, I'd, I'd say that Hazen played pretty good defense. Um, we we were able to maintain possession a lot more than we were against Lake Region. Yeah. I think it's important. It's yeah. step one. Now just to, to get a little more offense, yeah, get, get a few more shots. I agree, we did. We seem to uh, at least control the ball for a decent amount of time out here. A lot of this game was played in the middle of the field. And the Raptors, when they had the chances, put the ball in the net. Day flips it over. Bovair up ahead. Jeffrey right there to bring that one down. So it's looking like the Lady Cats will drop to 0-2. And, and with a road trip down to PA on Thursday, it doesn't really bode well. Uh, the Wolves are generally pretty professional in their approach to soccer. If I can quote Matt Reno for a moment. <laughs> Matt Reno is the consummate professional. Consummate professional. And uh, the People's Academy Wolves are the consummate soccer club down there. You must know a different Matt Reno than I know. <laughs> well, I'll give you this. <laughs> the next time you see Matt Reno, ask him how many horns a deer has. Okay. He will laugh hysterically and tell you. All right. There's Kai Zonk over on the far side. 
But uh, so I, you know, that's going to be a tough. That's a tough game for anybody to go down to PA. Yeah. And come away with a win. With the, you know, the amount of experience that these this team has, which is, you know, not a lot, a lot yeah. of freshmen. Um, it's it's always going to be tough when you start out the season. You got a lot of yeah. things to learn. Got a lot of cobwebs to shake out. You know, all the teams do, but but the inexperience is kind of uh, at its at its. <laughs> Uh, worst for you when you're starting out this season and getting used to the new system and everything, especially with the new coach and everything. So, right, Harry's coming up with his way of scheme of doing things too, and you know I'm sure he's juggling lineups and positions and places and all. Hopefully, it all comes together. Shot on goal by Day, I believe. Wide. I think we've got a, a lot of just like really talented players yeah. that all just. Some really good signs of of improvement a lot of talent even from the last game together. to this game. Yep. Um, I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, I, I, some of the you know we were talking a lot about Emily, um, the little red machine. Yes. And I, some of the things that she did in this game, she was not in the previous game. Like getting out to the ball early right. and just being a better game manager. And so it's, she's already. Um, picking up some of that stuff and making some pretty good saves too. So she know. did made a number of decent saves this game. So it's you know really good uh, a really good sign and a lot of these other players are doing the same thing, making some good improvements. Shot on goal, easy grab by Butler. We will continue to be hopefully optimistic for our Lady Cats. A few more games, a little more time. And it's always good to play teams, you know, like a Lake Region, like a Rivendell, like a PA, because it shows you what you want to aspire to be. Shot on by Tilden Gabri with the save. Good benchmark to try and hit, you know. Like I say, these Raptors are, are look at these girls, there's some athletic, very athletic girls out here playing. Day moves that up ahead. Samantha Bopri gives chase against Joey Hall. Joey out. Throw in. Thirty seconds left to go in the game. Joey up to Conway. Conway moves it across the middle. Ms. Christensen to Macy Moeller, back in. There's Kai with six seconds left. She'll put a shot on from half field. And the final buzzer does go off, and it looks like the, yeah, it doesn't look like it's happened. The Rivendell <laughs> Raptors have pushed their record to 2-0 oh, uh, with a, Fairly convincing 4-0 win. They have yet to be uh, scored on. They beat Sharon 5-0 last Friday. So 9 to nothing is the way their goals are stacked up. So obviously their defense is very, very well. Cats didn't get on the board this time. Uh, lost 4-zip. But like we said, they played spirited. I thought they controlled the game a little bit more. And uh, we'll see what happens on Thursday when they go down to PA. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, our sponsor once again. We want to thank them. Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. If you're interested in sponsoring a Hayes and Union Wildcats sporting event, please contact hctv.us. No better bang for your advertising buck. Sell it from Swanton to Singapore on the web. Griff, we'll see you next time. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Take care, everybody.